Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So, my only variable in this equation is x, so that's obviously the variable which I'm going to be solving for. And now for my solution. I'm going to first write my equation down here. So I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. And I'm going to first start by dividing both sides by x to the power of 2. So I have x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to x to the power of 2 over x to the power of 2. And x to the power of 2, x to the power of 2, these two cancel out. So now I'm going to be left with x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to 1. Now, from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is going to equal x to the power of x minus 2, which is equal to 1. Now, I can take the ln or natural log on both sides. So I have ln x to the power of x minus 2 is equal to ln of 1. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times ln a. And this property is very useful because notice how now x is an exponent. And in the state, it's really hard to solve for x. But now, using this property, I can move it to the front. And now it's an actual term, and it's much easier to solve for it. So I get x minus 2 times ln x is equal to ln 1. And ln of 1 is the same thing as 0. So I have x minus 2 times ln x is equal to 0. Now from here, I get two equations. I get x minus 2 is equal to 0, and I also have ln of x is equal to 0, meaning 2 equals 0. And all I have to do to solve this is to add 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to 0 plus 2, which is 2. Now, for my second equation, I have ln of x equals 0. And this is basically asking ln of what is equal to 0. And, well, we already know ln of 1 is equal to 0, but what if we didn't know this? Well, what we can do is take e to the power of both sides. So I have e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of 0. And e and ln, these two cancel out. So I get x is equal to e to the power of 0, which is 1. So now that I have two solutions for x, what I'm going to do is check to see if these are right. So my equation is x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. And let's first start by checking 1. So if x equals 1, I have 1 to the power of 1 is equal to 1 to the power of 2. 1 to the power of 1 is 1, and 1 to the power of 2 is also 1, so this is right. And now I'm going to check x equals 2. So I have 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4, so I get 4 equals 4, and this is right as well.